Hi, hello, welcome to VSTL Basics. Today we are going to see about PWM Pulse Generation in VHDL. What is PWM? Pulse width modulation is a modulation technique that generates variable width pulse to represent the amplitude of an analog input signal. The output switching transistor is on more of the time for high amplitude signal and off more of the time for low amplitude signal. So here uh, we need to know one more term called uh, duty cycle. If the duty cycle uh, is the one we are going to change uh, to uh, uh, generate the PWM uh, pulse actually. So if the duty cycle is 100% means uh, there won't be any toggle in that signal it, that uh, that's, that PWM pulse signal will be high for uh, throughout the uh, process. If the duty cycle is zero, the uh, PWM pulse signal will be in low state for throughout the process. So uh, depending on the duty cycle, we will uh, generate the pulse actually. So if that is 50% duty cycle means if for example we are going to generate uh, PWM pulse at 1 MHz means uh, uh, the uh, period of uh, 1 MHz is nothing but uh, 1 microsecond. So uh, if this is 50% uh, duty cycle means uh, it will be uh, high for 500 nanosecond and it will be low for uh, 500 nanosecond so that we will get the 1 MHz frequency okay now uh, where we are going to use this PWM actually so PWM signal is used in place of uh, digital to analog converter to simplify the digital to analog conversion process PWM is used when we generate the analog voltage corresponding to some digital values now coming to the uh, code here uh, we are going to generate PWM pulse uh, in uh, VHDL so for that uh, we need to include uh, these two IEEE uh, libraries so standard logic uh, 1164 and uh, standard logic unsigned these two libraries I am including uh, here and if you see there are uh, two input clock and reset and uh, PWM out is the output signal and uh, I am uh, inside architecture I am going to declare a signal called uh, counter which is uh, 7 down to 0 which means 8 bit uh, okay uh, so I am going to uh, create a process to uh, count with respect to the rising edge of the clock so you inside the process uh, I am uh, declaring clock and reset in uh, sensitive list so if reset is 1 I am resetting the counter value here if you see line number 18 counter uh, equal to others of 0 in the sense all the bit of the counter will be assigned to 0 and, and in the else if statement I am checking uh, rising edge of the clock if counter is less than 99 I am counting uh, counter uh, equal to counter plus 1 it will count from 0 to 99 so uh, here we are uh, dividing the clock frequency divided by 100 actually so for example if uh, our uh, input clock frequency is 100 MHz means our PWM uh, clock frequency is nothing but divided by 100 equal to 1 MHz actually and uh, if count is reached 99 means uh, I am uh, resetting the counter so that I am assigning uh, uh, line number if you check the L statement uh, line number 23 I am assigning uh, uh, counter to 0 again so this is how it will work actually again it will start count uh, from 1 to 99 again it will go to 0 like that it will count and if you see line number 28 where I am going to generate the pulse with respect to the duty cycle here I am assigning 1 when counter is less than 20 here the 20 is duty cycle percentage actually if this 
counter is less than 100 means the PWM out will be high for throughout on megahertz which means that is the maximum amplitude, uh, amplitude. if counter is less than 0 if you are setting a DDC class 0 means it, uh, the PWM out will be 0 for always actually so this is uh, that is the lowest uh, duty cycle uh, we can able to generate actually now i am going to simulate this and i will uh, explain with the waveform this is the test bench for uh, pwm generation clock reset uh, i am declaring as register since uh, the those two are input to the pwm generator module and PWM out is the output signal so I am declaring that as wire here I am using a very log uh, test bench so initial begin I am using uh, to generate the uh, um, initialize the clock and reset value and I am generating the clock uh, in the line number 18 uh, uh, here 100 megahertz clock I am going to generate so that it will be uh, clock will be toggled for every uh, 5 nanoseconds so the clock period will be 10 nanoseconds which is nothing but 100 megahertz and I am instantiating the PWM generated module in, uh, from line number 6 to uh, 9 if you see this waveform I am generating the 20 um, percent duty cycle PWM pulse rate so if you measure uh, the frequency of the pulse width uh, it will give 1 megahertz since we are uh, dividing by 100 uh, and if you measure the high uh, high uh, pulse width rate uh, that would be 20% uh, of that on uh, uh, megahertz which is nothing but the 200 nanoseconds so the high will be remains for 200 nanoseconds and low will be uh, remains for uh, 800 nanoseconds so totally 1000 nanoseconds will be the period of this one now I am going to change the duty cycle value to 50 and then I am going to simulate that and I will explain that uh, waveform if you see after changing the duty cycle value to 50 the PWM pulse if you see high period is for uh, 500 nanosecond and low will be uh, for 500 nanosecond like that it will go so uh, this is 50 percentage duty cycle in 50 percentage duty cycle period of high and the period of low will be uh, same this is the PWM generation, basic PWM generation uh, in uh, PHDL. If you want, we can declare that uh, frequency in parameter and uh, we can declare duty cycle in parameter. Also, we can add multiple PWM signals. We can increase the uh, bit width of the PWM output so that we can generate multiple PWM signals those things uh, we can uh, improvise from this uh, basic uh, PWM uh, generator actually thanks for watching this video hope you like this please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos